Uh, ooh, no, no, no. Look at those red buoys over there. Okay, Seika should be around here somewhere. Aloy, I'm here. Water wings are down on the beach. Take your pick. As soon as you get one under control, I guess we'll see if our plan works. Yeah, I guess we'll see. How am I going to override this thing? There's not a lot of stealthy approach areas here. Wait, wait, wait! Ugh. Smoke bomb! Okay, Seika, the fucking lighting him on fire doesn't help. Here goes nothing. I got it. The other one's pissed, though. Ready to take this thing to Londres Park? Yeah, but first. We should give her a respirator, right? My friend helped me make this diving mask. I'm drowning out there. But what about you? It's okay. I'll be fine. Aww. Okay. We're doing this. <laughs> Yeah, just excuse the fact that I probably have never, like, properly cleaned that out before we gave it to you. Fly in a deep water to or dive and avoid incoming projectiles. Hold on! I'll time oh. our dives to avoid the tower's fire! Hope this works! Mm -hmm. Aloy! Incoming! Whoa! I can actually breathe out here! <laughs> Oh my god! It's not deep enough to dive. Better dive! <sighs> Below the waves, Aloy! I'm trying! Holy shit! I'm in danger! Shots getting close to down! Oh, 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 whoa! Go! Go! I can't die here! We're gonna take a hit! Yeah, you should probably just stay on the ground here, Water Wing, huh? Here. Thanks. Shall we? That was a fun little set piece. You okay? Without that mask, I, I was worried about you. I'm all right. Thanks. <clears throat> well, we're here. Let's find Laundra and put a stop to all this. That's okay. I only, I only had to hold my breath for like three to five seconds at a time. Totally capable of doing that. Guards ahead. What? Where? Walter today? No, he's been locked up in the volcano since the last batch came in. Guess we need to get to that big fake volcano. Maybe we can find Kina there too. Kina? Sure, we could try. I guess I shouldn't make too much noise just yet. 
But we'll see. I'm not exactly built for stealth. Like, at all. <laughs> The last Smoke batch don't take too long. I'm ready to ascend. Yeah. Walter's new world will be paradise. I'll kill for Walter if that's what he needs. Okay, let's see. Do I have a stealth armor? Cause... Be sweet to do good damage. Okay, we have a stealth armor, but it's not like... It's not a stealth attacking armor. It's a stealth shooting armor. So like, melee range is where... Is what I was hoping for, because, uh... Some of these enemies don't die in a single hit. That's unfortunate. While I'm here... Do I have a better thing to equip? We've got plus weapon stamina. Uh, increases silent strike plus silent strike heal and silent strike gain by one level. Do I not have like a purple Weapon stamina thing? Okay. Well, I guess to be fair, the weapon stamina is pretty good. Yeah, well. Time to test out the railgun. Oh, no. I saw so many fucking exclamation marks just pop up there. Let's keep moving. With that shield up, we've got to find another way in. Well, <laughs> no one's running out here. To check out what the noise was, then we're all good. This way. Mondra Productions. Another one of his businesses, I guess. Seems like he wanted to have a hand in everything. I mean, if you're gonna be a rich person, you might as well fucking be ultra rich. There's the Zenith Orb. Turning back now, that thing will still shoot at us if we try to fly out of here. One Diron was enough, thanks. <laughs> what do we got here? Raptor Attack, Divorce Court Edition. From Simon D'Angelo to Larry Singer. Raptor Attack, Divorce Court Edition. Hey, Larry, I shouldn't share any of this, but I never forgot how you smoothed things over for me with accounting. I've seen some ugly divorces. Hell, I went through one myself. Walter and Evelyn? They're acting out that scene from Siege of Pangea where the raptors eat each other's young. The park is ground zero, which makes a twisted kind of sense considering they both think of it as their baby. By the time they've done fighting they're done fighting over it, there might not be much left, financially speaking. So here's my advice. Dump your equity before the stock price gutters. Let your team know they should start looking, because people will lose their jobs, from head office to hospitality. Awesome, huh? God sleep around, mortals file for unemployment. Worst part is, Londra caused this meth with his weird paranoia. Sending his pal Jack to spy on her? Seriously? Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome? What did he think would happen? Oh, <laughs> so I was right! Jack fucking gave... <laughs> Jack gave Walter... 
a passive aggressive gift saying watch your back and then either had already fucked J Walter's wife or was on his way to sheesh it's a pretty big lesson I guess sure <laughs> I should, like, hijack that. I guess we're waiting. As long as the wall doesn't fall apart, I suppose. Hey, the way I see it is, uh, while Jack is an asshole in the situation, in the end of the day, Up if Evelyn goes. cheated, Evelyn cheated, you know? I'm hungry. I'm thinking about snatching some extra rations. Forget it. Everything's locked up. And Fetter's the only one with a key. I know Fetter. A real bastard, even before Laundra came along. This key sure sounds useful, though. If this were a different open world game, I could jump from the sky and kill this person. They spotted me! Awkward. <laughs> and I was like, but maybe I can still do it. There is a strike from above. I just don't know how to do it. Cute. What were you gonna do? Try to uh, <laughs> do some fancy maneuvers, huh? You know what? You get the melee treatment too. Didn't get the explosion, but it works. Ugh. That big creature. I think it's a dinosaur. A diviner once told me about them. But what's one doing here? It's for entertainment value, Seika. That sucks. But also, you sucked in the past and you suck now, so sympathy levels low. Besides, he got his revenge, right? He got to live for a thousand years and they're fucking dead. I think this was a set for a hollow. All this stuff for something that's not real? Huh. You wouldn't catch me putting my hand in this thing's fucking mouth. <laughs> For all we know, this thing, like, activates on sight. This looks like it was an animatronic. We're about to get fucking Five Nights at Freddy here. By a T-Rex! Now, if I were in the past, right, like, if this were, like, intact and the world wasn't in, like, an apocalypse state, Sure, I'd do it for like a photo op or something or not photo op, but just like, you know, a photo <laughs> Put your head inside of the dinosaur's mouth <laughs> Maybe it'd be fast The question though is what the fuck was this a film set? Or like a museum piece. Because I'm just not sure what this setup is meant to be. What's out here? Ooh. 
Whoa. Past the portal. I guess I get a zip line down over here. I feel like I'm supposed to go this way. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. All right, let's check out the dinos. What was this place? I think the old ones made holograms here that people watched for entertainment, but they also made an entertainment experience out of the place itself. That's weirdly complicated. <laughs> Did the game forced her to like go down a long ass path to reach back? Spectres up top. It's a lot of symbols. That one resembles a volcano. Yeah. Looks like it's northeast of here. Shouldn't my focus be able to read these? I don't have the point of this shit. The music sounds so peaceful. Like, I'm not here under uh, the threat of death. Tall as a tall neck. Hope it was as gentle as one, too. Hey there, big fella. <laughs> she says that to the tall necks, too. I wonder if the holograms were, like, way better a thousand years ago. Because, like, I wouldn't be that impressed with holograms that looked like this. This is a little too bright. Too see-through. I need them holograms to be thick. Indistinguishable, basically, from reality. Walter asks for anything from the armory. I'm delivering. Got it? Fine. Only because I owe you. Sounds like Lodge's keeping something in the armory. Might be that building nearby. Lead on. Curious to see your approach. Right on target. Curious to see your approach, thanks. I'm spoiling for a fight. I got you covered, buddy. You just don't know it. How visible is your face, huh? Pretty visible. That's stealthy enough. Look at these soldiers! Well, the Pangea soldiers. The dinosaurs are coming out of portals! Cool. They tried to make it look like these soldiers had a last stand against the dinosaurs. That's ridiculous. And kind of awesome. Yeah! Imagine being out in the wilds and coming face to face with that. At least it wouldn't fire rockets at you. <laughs> You're right, I am a little bit more terrified of a Thunderjaw than I am of a T-Rex. You know, T-Rex, You we fire one of our current weapons at a T-Rex at its face. Realistically? Wouldn't be a way, would take quite a bit of damage from that. Thunderjaw is just like, rawr, here's some fucking disc mines. Whoa. Not exactly sure 
where all I should be going around. Kinda feels like I can explore around. Put the volcano off for later. Okay, oh. we found the armory. Let's see if we can get further in. I want to hear Seika's thoughts on things. It's fun. There's a lock on the door. And a note. Lock on which door? Over here? Friends, Walter's work in the volcano is not to be disturbed unless absolutely necessary. But if you ask for more tea, wine, or pale berry cookies, access controls within this building. Contact Fetter if you need the key. May we all ascend, Jill. According <laughs> to this, we need to find that Fetter guy and grab his key. Then we unlock this door and open up the volcano from inside the building. Let's get after him. I see, I see. So the volcano was like a half room. We were supposed to walk up to it, be like, oh, we can't get in right now. And then kind of still go off on like a hunt around the, the land for this fetter guy who's probably I would put him in this dome that seems like a pretty interesting location to go to so there's just, just nobody guarding the volcano front well there's the volcano Huh. We're not getting this door open until we get into the armory. I mean, we'll leave it be. Oh, look at that big portal. Was that supposed to be Evelyn? Standing triumphantly in front of a portal? That is Ravens! Could take them on. Slip by them in the grass. So these are the weird spider machines. Not gonna do much harm with poor powder at all. Even stranger in person. Kill the specters. Optional. No, 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 no. Kill the specters. Guaranteed. That's what I'm talking about! Let's see what I can do. We'll deal with it. Don't let up. Hey, fellas! Whoa, 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 no, I don't think so. We'll have to see how much damage that actually does against bigger targets. Because to be fair, these specters are like level 20, uh, 5, so they might not actually be that, like, strong in the first place. Nice. I can get my armor maxed out. That woman in the ring looks important. Also, I guess we're supposed to bring the Pangea figurines here. Interesting. This is a pretty badass pose. And it reminds me of Halo Infinite's promotional art. 
What's this? Enter. Welcome code. to Dino Digits, the game where you prove your Pangea prowess. I'm your host, Craig T. Young. We've got five questions lined up on the terminals for you super fans. Ready? Here we go. How many pre-recorded messages came with the limited edition Talk to Me Reggie? Hmm. I think this might be related to those figurines I picked up. I only have two of them, so we're not doing this shit. Get me out Maybe of this. I need to collect more data. More guards on patrol. Huh. On your lead. Those guys didn't hear shit. Dino digits. Did you better head in? That's no. what I thought this place you couldn't get weirder. We personally ensure the dome's security until it's time. Sounds like Fetter might be in the domed building. Makes sense. <laughs> That's what I said. I mean, it was probably a fun place to visit. Coast is clear. I'd visit a Jurassic Park park. You know? If it was like this extensively decked out. Stay strong. Not long till we ascend. I've got your back. See how I can take out these people silently. I guess not happening with this guy. Damn. Not a single shot actually made contact with him, but just the blunt force damage of our arrows fucked him up. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Creepy. Dino Digits crowd control. Dino Digits things come down from on high to sell more action figures and make our lives hell. A basic rundown. The kids need the toys to get the queue. Obviously, the Jane statue is already a high traffic area. We're gonna need you to control the crowd. It'll be brutal, but data corrupted. Bottom line, no toys equals no statue. Well, clearly, it must have worked out. They were high value items. Somewhat. Is that dinosaur wearing a hat? I, I think the more something seemed human, the more it helped sell stuff. Interesting tactic. <laughs> it caught your attention, didn't it? I didn't think anything of it, which says a lot about me, huh? <laughs> as, a, as a consumer in modern day society, it was just like, yeah, tie T Rex the hat. Tex Rex. Tex Mex. Rex Tex. Rex Max. The marketing was crass and the food was worse. But whenever a new Pangea Hollow came out, profits blasted through the roof. People will eat anything if you feed it to them with the right spoon. That's spoken like a person who's never had a fucking disgusting food put in their mouth. Fuck you. <laughs> there are things that, no matter what spoon, still would strongly dislike. Another area of the park. Fetter and his key might be around here. A lot of dinosaurs here. Must have been some kind of attraction. Getting attacked by dinosaurs was an attraction. <laughs> <laughs> 
I guess I'm better off double notching. See? This one looks clever. Ha! Uh, low hanging fruit, you fuckers. But I still appreciate it. Raptor Raid! I wanna play Raptor Raid. Like a close rider. They travel in packs too, huh? What do you think the claw striders were based on? Huh? <laughs> so this dome is just a VR arcade? <laughs> Alright. Let's see what's in here. Right behind you. And hey, these almost look like the uh, gun that Jack sent to Walter. I wonder what that means. Was it just like a... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not figurine, uh... We'll say collectible. Was it just a collectible from Pangea? Or did it have something more sinister? Like maybe... Jack, you know, and Evelyn in the VR arcade? Mm. Spent too much time. Here. Raptor Raid, a holographic shooting gallery for rabid Pangea fans. Let's hope the new Quinn devotees fire on my behalf just as blindly and eagerly as 21st century consumers. <laughs> okay, well that's recent. Were the other ones recent too? I just thought they were from, you know, I just imagined Walter walking around this place, leaving fucking audio logs of his disdain about his divorce and being cheated on, you know? I feel like I'm getting attacked by Claw Striders. says clear your mind forget everything your ancestors your past even your family think of him of what this moment means come on let me hear you how could i not come back being with you feels like uh, oh, i messed it up again relax Imagine that he's here, like the first time we saw him on the beach. Feel the glow of his presence. Let it overtake you. And then say it. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It feels like home. Oh, he's gonna choose you. I just know it. We've all been chosen, Pyrrha. You'll have a place in his new world, no matter what happens. Pyrrha, Kina, it's time. Fetter, we'll be evacuating shortly. Got it. <laughs> They're putting on some Second kind of play? Squad, you're on escort. The rest of you will wait here with me until Walter gives the word to move out. Does Pyrrha look like Evelyn? Remember, Fetter's got a key to the armory, and that's how we get to the volcano and Londra. Right. Let's take him down. Maybe we can take them out quietly. I'd fucking love to do that. Too bad. Curious to see your approach. My uh, stealthing options aren't the most amazing here, but we can try something. If I 
Yeah, you know what? Okay, we'll, we'll get rid of weapon stamina. And we'll try to leech strike, since this is just for this particular area. Alright, well, <laughs> unequipping that! <laughs> Fucking god. I think there was... Actually, wait, no, this is the the stealth armor from the main campaign. Yeesh. What did I have? It was a skill. Weapon stamina plus two. What did I even get that from? What were the other armors I upgraded? Um, not this one. I don't know. Oh, wait, I think I... Okay, no, 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 I get it now. These came with weaves that when you unlocked, then you could take off the weave and put it on something else. So like this is got critical strike and melee damage, so if I leveled this up, I could take those off. Same with all of these. Got you. I just wanted to be able to fucking kill them in one shot while stealthing around. Because otherwise, we have to go loud! Oh, really? Let's see how you like a real good shot to the face! Whoa! Whoa! Hey, friend! Don't worry, I can fix this. Yeah, she's beating him into the hologram wall. Or I guess just the screen wall. Ah, what fire! I need you to stay still, thank you. You get it out of your system, buddy? Yeah, I didn't even know who was better in that particular fight. I was just killing everybody. Had to give them the rail gun love. Still not as, uh... As effective as just shooting them in the face with an arrow. But, like, it's about there, you know? If I could put a draw or charge time upgrade on this thing, we'd be really set. Oh, Fenner was the guy that got knocked into the wall. <laughs> All right. This key should get us into the armory so we can open up the volcano and find Londra. He's really got his hooks into my sister. How can she be so blind? Well, there's a little bit of mind control going on, so maybe that, but she could also just be that over everything else. That she just wants to believe everything that's happening.
Also, there you go. Now I got the word in the head, my head that I was looking for. Model. Gun model. Because I don't think he gave... I don't think Jack gave uh, Walter a real gun as a reward. <laughs> or as, as a gift. Also, I'm sad that this... Doesn't seem to be like an active like game arcade thing, but maybe that's because it's been a thousand plus years. Maybe the uh, the holograms have just been frozen in time because of that. Because otherwise, this would be sick, right? Like running around in here with little hologram velociraptors chasing you around. You've got like a a hologram uh, laser gun? That would be fucking awesome. 